What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. Hello there everyone, says Isabel right now in a story. It's 2.41 p.m. on Thursday, April 2nd. Now for today's announcements, we have a new friend on our island. Let's give a big story. Welcome to Chops. Yay. Congrats, Chops. I'm sure you'll enjoy island life here. Also, the most wonderful thing has happened in the story today. <laughs> the Able Sisters tailoring shop opened. Okay, that's great news, actually. The tailor shop uh, will have all the fashion items you'd expect, as well as a custom design gallery. This is a great chance for everyone to enjoy new styles or maybe start your own Astoria trends. And of course, we'll be holding a special ceremony to celebrate the happy news. If you're interested in participating and have the time, please check in with Tom Nook at Resident Services. And with that, I'll get back to work uh, supporting you and your enjoyment of our island. Well, thank you, Isabel. Today's a great day for her rum and coke, I guess. <laughs> she has one every day. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm doing great, guys. Uh, I'm still partaking in the uh, the Bunny Day event here. Uh, thank you guys for your support on this series. You know, I thank you guys every episode, right? Don't I? I do. Hold on just a sec, okay? Okay, I can wait. <laughs> Flick sent me... Oh, yeah, that's right. Flick sent me this. Behold, my piece inspired by the tarantula is at last finished. I worked tirelessly to capture its likeness for you, and I hope you enjoy it. May it bring bugs even further into your heart. All right. Thank you. That's in my pocket. And the Nook Shopping sent me a, uh, a music, a piece of music. What's in my inventory right now? Okay, just eggs. That's good. Open this up. And then open up this present as well. Uh, I'm going to go. Let's store Let's store some stuff really quick. Uh, I'll go in. I'll go in really quick. I, I want to see what this spider thing looks like. It's probably small. So let me look at it. How about that? Welcome. My place is coming together quite nicely. <laughs> Tarantula model. Place it. Oh, wow. That looks legit. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Uh, let's just let's keep that in the middle of the floor so that freaks people out when they walk in. They're like, whoa, a tarantula. They're like, oh, it's just a model. But yeah, I did it. I did it, Flick. Thank you, Flick. Uh, let me just store this. Put in storage. I don't even care about hanging them up anymore. And then this too. This uh, That can go in storage as well. Uh, then what do I want to do? I guess let's go around town see what's up. We got a lot to do in terms of still making Bunny Day stuff. Uh, so let's get to it. Let's find some DIY recipes. Well, we can make the clothes too, but more importantly, we're gonna need to uh, just do our regular, regularly scheduled program. Let's go see the Able Sisters though. Uh, we will do that. Peaches are here. Sup, dude? Hi, how are you doing? I wanna chat. Another neat day on Astoria, Monch. Great, neat indeed, Snake. Yo, you've been training Bunyip. Let's talk. Don't mind me, I'm just keeping the peace on Astoria. I try to do a few patrol jogs every day. All right, good for you, good for you. Let me, uh, let's, let's ditch this. We gotta shake a tree. Shake a tree, I'll tell you if I see any new bugs or anything, but I don't know, I don't expect to. But if I do, I'll catch them. I'll catch those bugs here. Oh, there's a weed. No thanks. Who's doing this? We're doing some, some, gosh. I don't think Flick is still here, otherwise I'd be catching those bugs and selling them. Uh, no one new at the campsite, that's okay. We can shake these peach trees. You know, get them out of here. Tivana! Oh, Tia, so happy to see you, Teacup. What's the latest? I'm glad for weather like this that's perfect for air drying my laundry. All right. They don't have much to say at first, it seems. Peach, peach, I can sell these. Are the coconuts ready too? They are not. It's okay, yeah, there's, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. This is an, a new recipe, I think. Boingity boing, and congrats to you. You just got yourself an egg recipe. Can you hear the applause? Could there be others out there? Open your peepers and look about. The answer is yours to find. You're truly the lucky bunny. All right, great. And the recipe is a bunny day table, which we will make at the end of the day. There we go. And then, uh, sup, fish. You think this is going to be a an egg? Let's see about it. Let's see about it. Let's pull that up. My reaction was a little slow. It's just a can. Okay, I caught an empty can. All right. Cool. What, what's the what's the what's the daily today? The daily today. Uh, Nook miles plus. We don't have any times five, but pop balloons. It's gonna happen. Catch bugs, I guess. Capture a memory. Uh, DIY projects. Plant flower seeds. Seeds. Not just flowers, but seeds. That's something I don't have. Come here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. 
Got it. A new one. Yes. I caught an uh, 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 agrius butterfly. I wonder if it finds me disagreeable. <laughs> okay. Good job. Good job on the joke writing. Um. They're more like puns, I guess, but hey, puns and jokes, all good, man, all good. Looking for message in bottles, looking for anything I can. My, uh, this might be, hold on, here, a balloon. I'm gonna dig up this, this might be a fossil, it might be an egg. It is a fossil. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> I'm trying to make jokes like this guy. Uh, where's the balloon? That, there it is, up here. There's another thing right there. That's just a regular gift. All right, pop it. Boom. What's in store? Let's. Uh, I hear another one already. This is an egg. This is a an earth egg. Uh, I don't know why I keep coming to this menu, but here, let's open this up really quick. It is a bamboo wand, so I can learn that. Learn a. Huh. Okay, bamboo wand. Great. Quick, let's get this. I want to go to Able Sisters in just a second, but we have things to do, so pop it. Dang it. Come on. There we go. Excellent. There it is. Uh, this is Able Sisters. We're going in. So far, I'm happy enough with my town. I do want to rearrange everything in it, though. Hey, hey, hey there. Welcome to Able Sisters, where we sell fashions made lovingly by Claw. Oh, hey, it's the great spot finder, Zach. Thanks for picking this fantastic location for us. We've decided to put down roots here on Astoria and keep selling our clothes and accessories. Here, let me give you a quick tour of our shop. Okay, so when you first walk in, you'll find our recommended items right here, right there, front and center. We change these up every single day, you know, to keep things fresh. Then over on the left, you'll find our mannequins. They're dressed up in whatever seasonal outfits we're into. We change them up and from time to time rather than daily. Still, we hope you'll be inspired. And of course, if you see something on the mannequins you love, you're more than welcome to buy it, which brings us to the back wall. Here you'll find custom designs brought in by our customers. We'd love to display your designs, of course. And if you want any of these designs, they're yours for free. Speaking of custom designs, next to the wall displays, you'll find our custom designs portal. You can use that kiosk to order designs from creators all over the world and even share your own. And the last thing I want to tell you about is the fitting room. It's on the right side of the shop in the back. This is where you can go to try on anything that's available for sale that day, including all the color variations. Our special, our display space is limited, so the fitting room is also the place to check out items we couldn't put out. Yeah, the fitting room is really great. And it's a terrific way to see how an outfit is coming together. I think that's everything. Wow, I guess that's, I get kind of chatty when I'm talking about the shop. We're open every day from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. I hope I'll be seeing you in here lots. So, right off the bat, uh, we got a couple cool looking mannequins, some cool designs in the back. Uh, she said she would love to display mine. Is she gonna follow me around? I want the mustache. That's the coolest looking thing here. A handlebar mustache. That one costs a lot. Wow, yes, I'll buy it. I can't grow my own, I guess. Great, that'll be, yeah, great, awesome. Thank you, so now I have a mustache. Fancy, oh, it matches my hair color, perfect. That's a good look for me. Uh, I don't even, well, I, I don't have a full mustache. I do have a mustache just by laziness. Like, that's, that's what I'm growing right now. So the fitting room, what was she talking about? The fitting room being amazing? That's our fitting room. Go in there and try stuff on, and if you like it, you can buy it right then and there. You can see how things actually look on you and also buy multiple things at once. It's super convenient. Feel free to use it anytime. All right, right now, don't look, don't peek. Don't peek, I know you're gonna peek. There's a lot of stuff here. Oh, that's cool, pullover jacket, that's a really cool color. Uh, there's a lot of colors, in fact. This is a, and also a work shirt. Um, what else we got, we got pants. We gotta have pants. We gotta have hats. We gotta have a, f a food mess. Ew. But I guess I could get, I don't know. I don't know what else I want. I, I'm pretty happy with everything I have on right now. But there is so much stuff here. It's fantastic. Uh, you don't want, I don't want to wear flip-flops around. I, I gotta wear some shoes, at least. Okay, well, cool to know that about everything. I'm happy with the way I look for now. All done. Nothing caught your eye? Nah, but I like wearing the mustache. What's going on over here? I want to see what this is about. Sable. Sorry, can't talk. Cool. And you're... It's the Sable, Mabel. All right. Cool. Well, um, there's also the kiosk in the back if I wanted to do custom designs, right? So, 
A world of creativity awaits via the Custom Designs portal. Here you can download custom designs from creators all over the world and even share your own. Customers with internet access and, and a paid Nintendo Switch online membership can use it. Would you like to access the key? Sure, let's look at it at least. I mean, what else would this episode be about if I don't showcase the full... Okay. <laughs> I have to update the software. <laughs> Alright, I'll update. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Uh, he wants to talk to me. What's up, dude? Deli, say, Zach, can you tell how shy I feel right now? <laughs> Sometimes if you're feeling shy, shyness can show it. I mean, if you want to. <laughs> so I learned a new uh, a new thing, shyness. I learned the shyness reaction. <laughs> I'm shy, I'm sly, I'm, you know, I'm bashful. Let's see it. Oh, this is me. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. I'm so shy. <laughs> All right, let's move on. <laughs> Able sisters, whoa. Do I have that? I think I have that, but let me just catch it anyway. Missed. Got it. I hear another balloon. The balloons are everywhere. Oh, I, I do have a honeybee. That's fine. All right, let's grab grab this real. Oh, I already had that though. I'm pretty sure. Come on, that's spot on. There we go. Another one of those. Uh, hey, back in here. I don't know what the update was all about, but I got it. So let's find out what it's all about. I'm glad that the Able sisters, what are they called, moved in. Hey there, hi. Don't follow me. Going up here. A world of okay. So we know custom design portals. I hope that everything's all said and done. Good. As, as, access the kiosk. Connecting to the internet, of course. Do not touch. Here we are. Uh, so no, I mean, no, I don't, no. I thought it was gonna give me like a marketplace or something, like some sort of like visualization. I don't wanna search, but anyway, when I make designs, I'll post them here. I don't have any custom designs, come on. I, okay, anyway, I thought I made one, but I don't, I guess, I'm all done. Anyway, you get the idea. I'll put, once I do make custom designs, I'll make them, I'll post them, I'll share them with you, and then, uh, you know, I'll, maybe I'll do a thing at a time. I don't know. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Move. Thanks. Thank you. Anything else? Hello there. Please, take a look around. I already did. So I'm glad there's shops here. Thanks. Please come again. I'm glad I finally got the shop in. Uh, we're going to go around town and try to get eggs. And then see what we, you know, can do. I know that if we look at the rocks, that's going to be something that we can, uh... You know, I'm, I'm thinking about just trying to put in more uh, more things so I don't have to keep digging holes each time. That'll make searching the rocks that much faster. Uh, but anyway, here we go. Dig a hole. Dig a hole over here. All right. Rocks. Give me some eggs. There we go. I think the thing I need most of are the water eggs because, I mean, it's, gonna be, it's just going to be a bit of a hassle. But it, it, fishing, you know. I don't even know what kind of new fish are here for April, but I, what I need to figure out is what I need to catch before the end of April. That's that's the real trick. So yeah, here we go. Oh, also cutting wood will be good. Let's see if I can fish this. There's so many insects out right now. A lot of butterflies. A very beautiful time of the year. Let's see if this is an egg. I just sit in silence. Let's see, it's a fish. It's a uh, loach looking at me with reproach. Uh, so, hey, if we want, you know, I got a stone ax. I can uh, chop wood and try to get eggs out of it. <laughs> there's, there's this guy's fence up there. Hold on, wood eggs are good. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh man, chop is here. <laughs> that actually worked. Hold up, hold up. Let me. I'll go there in a second. Let me finish up here in the uh, in the. Uh... Sorry, but I, I need to. I need to like just destroy this rock. Get rid of it. My dog's barking. She hears. I think Ashley's coming home. All right, it's okay. She was gone for like 20 minutes. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Ari, Ari whines when this happens. Anyway, uh, getting some more eggs out of the stone. That's great. I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna craft something. It's a brand new, it's almost Easter. It's also almost Bunny Day, coincidentally. Or no coincidence, huh? I hear another balloon. I think the water eggs, what, what am I lowest on right now? Let's take a look. 
I am lowest on uh, water eggs, absolutely. I need to spend some time fishing. The rest of the stuff is coming to me quite nicely, but I need to spend some time fishing. Uh, let's see. Slingshot. It's okay. Got it. This is just a... No, this is... Is this a DIY? Let's see. It might be a new recipe, which we could use. Indeed, it's a bunny day rug. Excellent. Huh. Okay, sweet. I learned a DIY recipe for a bunny day rug. This guy... <laughs> is he home? I can't even tell. But he's... <laughs> I completely surrounded him with barbed wire. That's your pig pin. Little... I don't know. What is his name? Chops. Chops pig pin right there. Got him in. All right. Feel, hope you feel welcome, buddy. <laughs> Let's shake this tree. Tree eggs are coming through just fine. I really do. I guess I just, I'll just fish a little bit today. Get some more eggs. We learned two new recipes. Uh, there we go. Right there. And we'll also figure out, you know, what I need. I, I know I need to focus on water eggs. I know that for a fact. Until I learn the water suit or whatever. I, I've learned some outfits already, but... Oh, here we go. I'll just, you know what? I don't even care about planting. It's too close to the other tree. I don't know. Maybe I'll plant it. I'll plant it. Who knows? It's not that close, is it? We can plant it. Burying a hole. We should have, like, one of these a day, the, way, the rate we're going. Here comes another, uh... Another one of these. Oh, it's all the way over there. All right, that's fine. Goodness gracious. Okay, I still find it so hard. To, I wish I wish it were somehow faster. I almost wish this game were on the PC. <laughs> Although I love the Switch. Don't get me wrong. It just I feel like I could have much, so much better control over things if it were on the PC. What? It fell in the water? I I was stunned. What did I just get done? Uh, let's take a look. Okay, Nook Miles. Yeah, we can claim the thing for popping balloons. Excellent. Uh, what just fell in the water? Hold on, we got this. Have a nice DIY. Okay, I got more uh, DIY things. Excellent. Understated authority. That's me, all right. Oh wait, we had more. But uh, let's see. I I, I can't believe I keep getting lost in this. What else did we get done? We got trash fishing. All right, yeah, I got another piece of trash in there. Good. Eco-friendly ecologist. And is there anything else? Yeah, we got two more things. Lost treasure. Oh my, you popped a balloon with a skillful shot. <laughs> Catchable klutz. All right. And then uh, fun with fences. Oh, yeah. Oh, hold on. Efficient partitioner. Hold on. What, what does it say? You, you can have a wonderful yard in no time by building a fence and surrounding your home or garden. Yes, yes. Nook Inc. will award. Okay, so hey, I, d I actually did that. <laughs> I did it to... What's his name? Chops. But uh, I did it. Awesome. Let's uh, do this. We still need to find the money rock, of course. But of course, anything... Okay, this is just regular one. I'm moving too far. That's okay. Well, we're only going to get like six or seven maybe. Huh? Okay. No eggs in this one. We gotta get eggs by fishing. Okay, I, I need more water eggs. Now let me, uh, let's see what, whoa, jeez, that guy scared me. You scared me. Oh, how'd I miss? There we go, got him. Fancy, long locust. Uh, there's a fish over there. I like kind of sticking to the river for now. Just stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to, you know? Here we go. Yep, an egg. Perfect. That's an egg. Another water egg. Good. I guess I'll look at this beach and see if any other thing has happened over here. Oh, Gulliver's back. Hey, buddy. The, the waves. The waves are... Uh, ready the pool noodles. Wake up. You're drunk again. Snurk, snurk. Sorry, fellas. Already licked all the cookies. Had to. Test for raisins. Okay, there he is. Gulliver, welcome back. Oh boy, up we go. On your feet, sailor. This isn't our first mystery beach, and it won't be our last. Look, swallowed a lot of seawater. Come on, get it together. 
talk to the local. Here we go. Hello, stranger. Is this your beach? Your stubborn commitment to shoving me awake tells me yes. Wait, I know you. You're... Rusty? No, you're Zack. Hey, how have you been? As for me, I'm still trapped in a will-they-won't-they relationship with that flirty siren we call the sea. <laughs> and due to an unfortunate accident that wasn't my fault, probably, I'm shipwrecked again. Yes. Uh, does it count as shipwrecked if I don't know where the ship is? I probably should know this. Uh, I, I'll figure that out later. For now, I have to call my ship and summon another rescue. I'll just call for help using my handy dandy, uh, my, uh, oh my gosh! My handy dandy communicator is broke and this isn't handy or dandy. Ah, oh, sardines, it's all cracked and busted. It looks like it's missing a few communicator parts too. That means I'll have to wait for my crew to find me on their own. That could take a while. I've only got enough nautical puns to last a couple of hours. You, yes you, will you help me find my communicator parts? I'll look for them again. Oh, thank you, thank you. Your heart must be almost as big as your head. The communicator parts are probably buried in the sand somewhere. I'm just missing five parts. If you'll find them, I'll try to come back in here. I'm sure my crewmates are looking for me, so I better stay here and watch for the boat. I'll leave the search into you. I believe in you, partner. I don't have much of a choice. So yeah, communicator parts, five of them. Hold on, there's a, uh, there's my giant squid. Let's go ahead and grab uh, this. Missed. Come here, don't fall in the water. Oh, come on. How am I supposed to do this? Got it. All right. Uh, dig that up. It is an earth egg. And then, uh, pick this up. This is just a regular message bottle. Open. I thought of this DIY recipe while I was letting loose during dance practice. I wanted to share it with someone, so I threw it in this bottle. You have to make it. Small cardboard box. All right, great, thanks. I just wanna look up here really quick. I hear another balloon to my left. Let's go look at this balloon. I know, and I'll find communicator parts too. Okay, it's up there. Here, come down here, please. Where is it? Where the heck is it? Okay, it's over here. It's like so high. What the heck? That was spot on. Whatever, we can't get that one. Uh, let's search for, uh, well maybe I can. Got it. So many gifts in the sky today. Presents, open it up. We got 5,000 bells. Put it away, great. Um, can I throw this back in the water, <laughs> this tin can? Um, probably shouldn't do that. Anyway, let's find the communicator parts while we still can. There's one. Great. Where else? I, I hear another another balloon. The balloons are so numerous during this bunny day thing. Holy cow. Uh, so let's put this on again. There it is. Oh, I don't think I can get it. Gulliver, nope. After you found five, yeah, I know. I'll do. The, I'll I'll find them. I just missed it. The balloons are so crazy. No, what? No, uh, shovel. Don't know what I'm thinking. That's okay. There's a fish over here. Let's uh, see if it's an egg. Like I said, I could definitely use it. Fish or an egg? Which came first, the fish or the egg? That's a good question. <laughs> there we go. Another egg. When is he gonna think of the de Oh, ah! The end of my line for my trusty fishing pole, that's okay. Let's run back, uh, get it crafted. All right. Can I grab the cherry blossom from here? Got it. Awesome. I haven't seen, I guess uh, uh, Chops is in this, this area. Let's craft, uh, what are we gonna craft? I'm gonna craft, uh, yeah, so, okay, a fishing pole, obviously, but yeah, let's make the bunny day table. Takes earth eggs. So we need more earth eggs. 
and then keep crafting. Let's uh, make what else are we gonna make here? We need to make. Uh... What else? Bunny Day rug. Need one of each. Got it. Awesome. We're gonna definitely decorate our room. Uh, let's. Uh, we need to make the fishing pole. <laughs> that's, the, that's the reason I'm actually doing this. And then uh, let's see. I probably need to make those clothes too, right? Oh, this is cool bamboo wand. Not quite sure what that's for, but craft this. And then uh, craft the better one. <laughs> there we go. Fishing rod, there we go. Okay. All done for now. So, uh, let's, here, I, I see this over here. I kind of wish I could rotate full 360 around like the whole area instead of just my house. But that's just me. This could be an earth egg or a fossil. Either one will be nice to have. It's an egg. If I make good, oh, so, okay, he has an idea finally for the earth egg idea. And then now all I need to do is find an idea uh, probably for um, the water, right? There we go, there's the money rock, finally got it. It's gonna be a lot of bells. That's what I like to see. Perfect. All right. Let's go up top because uh, if we do, maybe we'll find more recipes, maybe we'll find something. Uh, let's walk around my shovel just a little bit. There might be fossils here. Don't see any fossils yet. Could be some more rock eggs or stone eggs or whatever they're called. There's a roly-poly. I got a gold! That's awesome. And I got an egg, too. All right, so I, I now have two gold. I don't know quite what to use them for. I can make like the gears. Not that I want to, but I can. Whoa, I don't have that ginormous thing. I don't think I have that. Come on. Oh my God. Thank you. No, I oh I ha I do have that. Sorry, darn. I didn't think I did, but I do have that. Let's fish really quick while we're here. Come on now. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Oh, wow, yes. I caught a crawfish, or else it's a lobster, and I'm a giant. I mean, it looks like it could be a lobster, honestly, given that. Uh, but crawfish, sure. So let me go down here. Again, you know, I'm just looking around. I'm just looking around. What am I doing? I'm looking around. That's what I'm doing. Catching things. Even some new things I didn't think that I could catch today. Egg or fish? It's an egg. Nice. Put it in your pocket. That's what you should do with it. And eventually he's going to get an idea. He's going to be like, I got an idea on how to make this egg better than ever. Make it close out of it. There's another fossil or perhaps uh, something else. I'm pretty sure those are hybrid flowers. The red and yellow ones. Fossil indeed. All right, and then I think I've pretty much been everywhere around this area, but I'll just double check down here and collect some sticks, like the weed. 
My cherry farm still going strong. Uh, down here, let's see. Let's cross over here really quick. My new farm that I'm working on. Hold on, I hear, I hear a... I don't know where it is. Must be down here. So much to do. Another fossil, that's great. All right, let go of the paper kite butterfly then. We don't really need that right now, do we? And then, uh... Shake this, we can get some new eggs. The directional sound is pretty good. I can basically tell where things are. There we go, another egg. Oh, my slingshot broke. I have the recipe though. All right, let's go craft that really quick. Let's craft, here we go. And we're looking at the slingshot. I don't have like a better version of this. It's just one slingshot. Nice. Okay, all done for now, I think. I might only get a couple recipes today, I don't know. <laughs> Chop's house. <laughs> All right, let's see about this fish. Here could be an egg. Right there. It is another lobster. Or crawfish, sorry. Uh, just let it go. Those are what are found in ponds. Do I have the green butterfly? Let's pull both across here. And then, uh, I don't know how I'm gonna catch it in the bamboo. Oh, there it is. I don't know if I caught that or not. I'm gonna try again. I hear balloons everywhere, dude. Man, oh gosh, okay, quick switch. I don't know if I have this or not. Yes, I don't have it. I caught a R Raja Brooks bird wing. Nothing else I'd Raja be doing. <laughs> All right, so let go of the loach. Uh, swap it, the loach I already have. Uh, so there you go, loach, goodbye, release. I got some stuff to donate to Blathers, don't I? Let's quickly get this out of the way. What, come on. Thank you. All right, Blathers, this pole vault over here. My trees are going good. Still working on them, but going good. And uh, this is basically gonna be like every type of fruit that we would ever want. Here we go. This is a lot of just gathering. We're gonna we're gonna decorate. What the heck is that? No. Dang it. What? What? No, over here. Dang it. Okay. Got it. What is this? Yes! I caught a, ew, a bagworm. I guess because I'm a bragworm. Alright, so what are we gonna what are we gonna swap it for? We got a lot of stuff to give to Blathers today. Uh get rid of the honeybee, which we already have. Alright, great. Blathers, it's time to donate. Cause I I mean for real, my my inventory is chock full. And uh, you, you deserve it, Blathers. You work hard. Oh, did it disappear? Did I run through it and it disappeared? Whatever. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Blathers, dude, you're gonna be so happy. Okay, who? Who? All right, so. I'm just pounding the controller. 
Assess these fossils. Uh, we got four fossils. Let's see if anything's new. Confirm. All right, more than one I see. Let's see, anything new? Okay, so I think I think I do have something new. So anyway, here we go. Is there anything else I can help you with? Like, let's make a donation. And we're gonna donate. Uh, oh, this one I definitely haven't heard anything about. I don't even want it. I've, I've heard of the Anklio. Uh, let's donate the Anklio tail and just have him get. You know, we'll just. He can have it. He doesn't have to tell us about it because he already told us about the Ankylosaurus before. But uh, so let's just say it's complete. The Ankylosaurus is complete. Great. No thanks. And then the other thing, though, I I don't even know how to pronounce. I'm questioning myself if I, if I even want to learn how to pronounce it. But let's see. Uh, we got here a <sighs> Eusthena Eusthenopteron. Eusthenopteron. Sure. Donate that. Eusthenopteron. I think that's how you say it. I think I actually got it. Maybe I don't. A Eusthenopteron. I never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well-preserved Eusthenopteron. <laughs> Dear me, I may I give you a short presentation on the topic? Yes. Please. Wonderful. All right. The, the Eusthenopteron is famous for being the link between fish and land animals long before dinosaurs. It seems to have had strong fins capable of pulling it around areas where the water was shallow. When most creatures lived in the sea, they dreamed of land. If not for them, we might not be here today. Imagine if we <laughs> if we'd not left the oceans. How might fashion and music be different in an aquatic world? How would we resolve differences? Perhaps some sort of ink squirting contest of champions. <laughs> Splatoon! And <laughs> there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Rest assured, all donations are displayed in a timely ma manner. You have my gratitude. I have like four more things for blathers to blather on about, so sure. Make another donation. Marvelous. What would you like to donate? Well, guess what? How about this bagworm? Gross. But confirm. Eek! A bagworm. All right. Let's tell, tell me more. The bagworm is, in fact, not a worm at all, but a caterpillar instead. The filthy fraud uses silken leaves to spin a cozy bag for it to hide inside, hence the name. Some find it cute the way bagworms dangle from trees, but the truth is they're gluttonous monsters. These beasts love to stuff their bug gullets full of leaves, devouring the very trees they hang upon. Wretched villains is what they are. Any hoot, my sincerest thanks for your donation. All right, great. Let's do another one. Three more. Trace mass. Uh, we got uh, this here. Raja Brooks Birdwing. I don't know why it's a weird name like that, but confirm. Someone by the name of Raja Brook named it, right? <laughs> like, this bird, it's my Birdwing. Alas, I'm obliged to ask, uh, would you like to learn about it. Like, if I discovered a butterfly, I would just call it the Zack Scott butterfly. Ah, I see. In that case, ahem. Did you know that the repulsive Raja Brooks Birdwing loves to luxuriate in hot springs water? It's true. Whew. The males gather in groups to sip the moisture while the females hide in jungle trees. And though they dress to impress in red and green, these fluttering fiends are not just stylish. They're also quite malicious. Their little larvae pack a poisonous punch that's supposed to protect them from predators. It's a lot of peas. But I suspect more diabolical designs. Any hoot, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, we know. Rest assured, the wretched thing will get the best of care here. Two more things. Uh, I'm curious how he's going to react to the to the crawfish. It's kind of insect-like. Uh, it's crawfish. Here you go. Who? Woo hoo! This is undoubtedly a crawfish. Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts? Yes, please tell me about it. Wonderful. I would love nothing more. So you, so you have found a crawfish. Neither crab nor lobster. Crawfish evolved in an interesting manner. Beware their fearsome pinchy pinchers. Behold their many legs. I say, it's a bit bug-like. Bug what? The, the more I look at it, the more unsettled I feel. Let's be done with this and never speak of it again, shall we? And there you have it. Fascinating stuff. All right, cool. He tells me, he, he, he tells me so much more about insects that he hates. Maybe he has done a lot of research because he wants to avoid them. Make a donation. Final donation today. Another butterfly that I caught. Another beauty. Agrius butterfly. There you go. Eek! An agrius butterfly. What a wretched thing. 
Alas, I'm obliged to ask. Would you like to learn more about the specimen? Please tell me. All right. In that case, some say the angriest butterfly is one of the most beautiful butterflies in the world. Bah, I say bah. They may have brightly colored wings, but the way they flutter and flitter is so foul. In fact, the angriest butterfly flies so fast it is quite a feat to catch one. I did it, though. I suppose I should c congratulate you on your good fortune, but catching any bug seems a misfortune to me. Any hoot, my sincerest thanks for your donation, and though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured the wretched thing will get the best of care here. We're done. We're, we're good, right? Let me, let me see. Oh yeah, nothing to donate. That's okay. It's okay. We're we're good. Let's get let's get on with it. We did a lot, donating a lot. Let's uh. Oh yeah, we gotta stop by. Uh, of course, we gotta make our, our stop to Nook's Cranny while we're here as well. Here we go. And let's see what's up. Knife set that could be good for a kitchen. Welcome to Nook's Cranny. Hello, hello. All right, what's up? What do you need today? I, I want to sell. Uh, let's sell uh, this bug, the long locust, some coconuts, and some peaches. And uh, only three wheat. It, the stash is getting hard to find. And a tin can. You can have the tin can, too. We also got a... Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good on everything. I think we're good. Let's confirm... Look at all the fine things you brought in today. And done. Okay, 5,000 bells sold. I'm going to buy the knife set with that, so just so you know. Knife block. Yes, thank you. I'll buy it. I'm going to make it for my kitchen. Once I have a kitchen. I got to have a kitchen. Let's move. Thank you. Thank you. All right, now let's go over to... Um, Let's go. Oh, let's before we send Gulliver off. Let's go do the celebration, right? Let's go do the celebration for the opening of the Mabel's uh, sisters store. Abel's sister. I don't forget their names already. Ah, Zach. Hello, hello, Zach. We're getting more inquiries about the campsite you helped build. Yes, yes. My plan to draw visitors easily with the campsite has proven itself to be a masterpiece. We've laid the groundwork to increase tourism, and I hope the number of island residents. Now, if that if that positive word of mouth marketing about a story will just spread. I admit it, though. This is the most difficult part of our whole venture. Don't you worry, Mr. Nook. As long as we all work together, I'm sure we'll reach our goal of having KK hold a concert here. You feel the same way I do, don't you, Zach? Dreams do come true. Isabel, Zach. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm more determined than ever. We're not done, Zach, and we're counting on you. When you're ready to talk about the next part of the project, come ask me what should I do. Will do. Uh, new pants for me? Denim pants. I think I already have them, but whatever. And then let's check this really quick before we talk. Ah, uh, yes, yes, I have something to tell you, Zach. It's about our campsite. Waiting for visitors is okay, but maybe you're interested in taking a more proactive approach. If so, you can use Amiibo to invite guests to the campsite with the new service I've added. You can access the service via Nook Stop. It works within, within an Animal Crossing character's Amiibo. This is perfect. I have all the cards, so I can now summon people who I really care about. I'll be doing that... Uh, Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. Please select from the following services. Uh, let's do Nook Shopping. See what's new today. Special goods. Uh, yeah. Most of the stuff I don't even like, but that's okay. KK Lullaby. I don't even know if I have this, but sure. Place order. Do I even want all these records? I don't even know. Probably not. Let's uh, Let's learn. Let's learn uh, Redeem Nook Miles for new fences. We got the coral fence and the iron fence. Do I do I have this one? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm glad to tell you. It should tell me. There should be like a check mark on here or something. I don't think I have the coral fence. All right, there we go. Learning this recipe. Good. Excellent. Uh, no, we're good. So now I can learn this new recipe here. Huh, okay. Sweet! So, uh, learn the recipe for the fence. We are down... We only have one earth egg, so we actually have more water eggs right now. Uh, let's... Here, move this up over here. And then uh, let's talk. Let's have a chat. Let's see what's up. 
Ah, Zach, hello, hello. This is the construction consultation count consultation counter. How can I help you? Let's hold a ceremony. Oh, you want to take part in the ceremony, Zach? Right now, we like to celebrate the grand opening of our tailor shop. Interested? I sure am. Splendid. Let's get started. I actually am ready for this, so let's open it up. Let's celebrate. Trees are in the way, but oh, even Chop's here. How, Chop, how did you get out of your pig pen? Now then, welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Astoria's brand new tailors. Yay! The Able Sisters, thank you. To ev thanks to everyone's tireless efforts, Astoria is developing wonderfully, yes, yes. At this time, we have some brief comments from Mabel and Sable, who will be running the tailor shop. Ladies, if you would be so kind. Thanks to everyone, we've been able to open such a lovely shop here. I'll work hard with my sister Sable to make it a nice place for you all to visit, so be sure to stop by. Sable says nothing. Yes, please stop by. <laughs> Yay! Mabel, Sable, thank you both so much. Next, a few words from someone who made so many valuable contributions that the tailor shop could be built. Take it away, Zach, our resident representative. Anything to add? Good for us. Good for us, guys. Yay! Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Zach. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing the ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo should get ready to press that button. I think we're good. I've taken too many commemorative photos. I can't. I, I wish I could bring up my phone, though. Ta-da! Pashmina's really beaming about it. Thank you all. This includes our ceremony. Please do, ca do take care on your way home. All right. Good thing. I need to talk to him and figure out what to do next, though. Because uh, there surely is something to do next. Because he wanted me to ask him. I, w I wish he would have just told me on the spot. But he's like, when you're ready, come talk to me about what to do next. So here we are. All right. Sup, dude. What's next? Ah, Zach. Hello, hello. This is the construction. Yeah, I know. Uh, what should I do? Yes, yes, I'll explain the last major t Okay, here we go. We've started gathering feedback from folks on and off the island, and our focus right now should be improving the image of the island and getting the all-important word-of-mouth marketing. I've asked Isabel to assist with uh, co uh, collating the feedback, so talk to her for the latest information. I think Isabel will have some good pointers on how we can improve the island's image as well. In short, we need to increase our population, improve the island's scenery, and turn Astoria into the most charming island it can be. Infrastructure is important, but let's plant flowers and use decorations to make this place look snazzy. Well then, thanks to, to your help, hmm? All right, Isabel, stop working over there. Come talk to me. She's going to want me to plant flowers, right? Oh, Zach, good afternoon. Oh, of course. As Mr. Nook mentioned, I'm leading a task force that complies, compiles feedback related to the image of our island. Okay, it's just me, though I have always wanted a task force of my very own. Anyway, I won't bore you with the details now, but feel free to ask me about the island evaluations anytime. Now then, how can I help you? Guess what? The island evals. Oh, wonderful. It seems you're as excited to hear about the image of our island as I am to talk about it. Well, uh, allow me to explain how the task force, that's me, collects and analyzes the data from my reports. First, I conduct random polling around the island with residents, visitors, and tourists. Their feedback is then ranked using the well-known five-star system. The better the balance of natural beauty, development, and decor, the more stars the island receives. That means we need more residents and buildings, proper infrastructure, as well as well-decorated natural setting. Easy enough, right? But if we can achieve that perfect balance and welcoming environment, our ranking is bound to rise. As it stands, we currently have a one, what a one-star rating. Folks are feeling like we still have some room for improvement. Allow me to read an excerpt from the feedback that I gathered. It's a place I've been quietly watching. It's a secret to everybody. I don't want it to be be famous. Well, there you have it. Hmm. It seems like every piece of feedback we received is from the same poly. And while I'm happy to hear they enjoyed themselves, we need more residents to get some more word of mouth uh, going about our island if we want a higher rating. For now, I suggest we focus on growing our population and gathering more varied feedback. And there you have it. Just let me know next time you'd like to hear the latest island feedback. No, we're good. So we want... So... Okay, we're good. And so she wants me to get more residents. So I'm going to start focusing on that next episode. Uh, I'm going to use the amiibo summoning system and summon some of my faves from uh, New Leaf. And uh, we'll see if they want to move in. That would be great, right? I think so. So, uh, let's now... Let me fit, let me decorate a little bit more. And then I need to find the communi communicator parts for Gulliver. And then we'll be done with today's episode. I do appreciate you guys stopping by each and every... Oh, gosh! <laughs> that spider actually scared me. <laughs> I was like, I'm not ready to catch one of these. 
Oh, man. Okay. And it was bigger than the other. Okay, anyway. This is it so far. Still working. Uh, we have a... Nope, not the knife block. Well, I do want to put it in storage. I'll put the denim pants in storage, too. And then we have... Uh, yeah, some of these for storage. 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 Let's put down the Bunny Day rug. Spread it out. Beautiful. And then we also have a Bunny Day table... Great. Let me pick this up. I'm going to push this over here, probably. And then we'll push this up here. Maybe I can set the thing on top of it, maybe? There we go. That'll save some space, right? Bunny Day lamp. Perfect. Look at all of this that we have. Uh, we're good, though. Let's store this. And then we'll store this, another fossil, and we good. We gotta find three more communicator parts. Our bunny day stuff is coming along quite nicely, uh, but we gotta find some more, some more, some more, probably water eggs so he learns the recipe, and then also, oh God, dang it. <laughs> that scared me again. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> All right, let's uh, continue onward then. That was worth it. Let's uh, pole vault across here. We'll find your communicator parts, Gulliver. Don't you worry. Uh, and then we'll, uh, yeah, well, there we go. Let's find them. I'm finding them. I'm working on it. You got, what? Missed that one. That's okay. There's one, two more after this. All right. All right. I think I hear a balloon far off. Bop, 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 bop. There we go. One more after this, and uh, we'll be good. There we go. Oh, we gotta, okay, we gotta clam, whatever. But we can get to the communicator part next, hopefully. Nice. All right, Gulliver, we got everything that you need. Let me try to catch a fish again. Let's see if we can get a, uh, another egg. As soon as we get enough water eggs, he'll learn the recipe for the water clothes, the water egg clothes. There we go. I get quiet when I catch these, man. It's so stressful sometimes. And then, uh, Gulliver, bro, we got him. Hey, did you find him? Got him right here. There you go, buddy. Oh, that's them. Those are definitely my communicator parts. Come here, you little troublemakers. <laughs> All right. Ta-da. All right, the pieces are crammed back in here. Let's see if this thing can send a message. Ahoy there, crew. It's me, your brother from another rudder. So listen, it happened again. Can you swing by to pick me up? Sending my coordinates now. Gulliver, over and out. There, that should do it. You're the best. Thanks for all your help. I promise to return the favor. Be sure to check your mail in a few days. I'm going to send you something that will knock your flippers off. Just make sure you put some flippers on before you open it, okay? Ah, I'm saved. Nothing to do now but pace back and forth for the next few hours. Better get started. All right, I should receive a reply from them anytime now. Let's see here. No replies yet. This little check mark means they definitely saw my message, right? Yeah, I'm sure they're en route. <laughs> they left you unseen, dude. Here, let's catch this thing. Here we go. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching, of course. Be sure to come back next time for another episode of uh, uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons. Boom, another, okay. It's a C plus, man. It's a C, it's at least a C plus. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. This is an A-plus video, by the way. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop.